Hey guys, welcome back. Um, just wanting to do a little video here showing that some I kind of went over these a little bit in some of my other videos. A little bit. But I just wanted to show you some stuff. People talk about auctions and all you get's junk, you know. I've got riding mower. I get basically gave 20 bucks for it and I bought a $40 belt for it. Uh, stuck about an hour worth of time in it. Works great. Uh, a lot of people, nobody bid on it because uh, it said don't know if it runs and it's an older one and stuff. Runs great. Um, weed eater. Nice echo weed eater. Um, got that at an auction. Uh, I think I give 70 bucks for it. Uh, it runs great. And there's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with it. Uh, I did have to replace the the end on it that holds the uh, string, but I I use this a lot during the summer. I got three properties I mow, and this thing gets used a lot. Um, let's see what else we got here. Um, that oscillating spindle sander, I gave fifty bucks for that. Works great. Uh, throw stuff down. Put that anywhere. Um, it's got that, you know, I need to clean it up a little bit, but, and the guy threw in this big roll of sandpaper too, cause he was making his own, rolling his own, uh, around the drums. Um, I don't use it enough to worry about really making my own cause they're not that expensive. And, uh, also, sorry about the camera all over the place. If you go to, you can get them anywhere. But if you go to Harbor Freight or Amazon, they sell these that are just a rubber block. If you take these and rub, run them over that sandpaper while it's running, these do an excellent job of cleaning them out and you can stretch your sandpaper out farther. Longer, lasts longer. Uh, the DeWalt planer. Uh, I've been wanting one of these. The one I had, there wasn't actually nothing wrong with it. Uh, I had a Craftsman brand from Lowe's and it worked fine. I didn't have any issues with it. I just wanted one of these because it's a little bit, little bit wider. Uh, this one's got the right here where you can adjust finishing cut or uh, you know dimensioning cut, so it's a little bit takes smaller cuts out of it. Uh, I do plan on later upgrading this to the helical cutter head, but right now no because they're expensive. Um, but these are seven hundred dollars. And I got found this at an auction brand new and got it for 350 And I sold my other planer and my small jointer for more than what I paid for this. So I kind of just traded them. I really wasn't out any extra money. Uh, and it worked great. It was just an auction. The top, those two framing guns, the top one, I got that for like 30 bucks at the auction. Works great. Um, we're getting ready to do some work at... One of my daughter's houses is a bunch of framing, so I got a framing hammer for my son-in-law and so that we can both, you know, do it. I got this uh, screw gun here, the auction, I think it was 20 bucks. Um, I got this jointer planer at the auction. It was, this, the, the bed was rusted on it when I got it, but... It works. The blade, it actually had good blades in it, which kind of surprised me uh, from, you know, getting it at an auction. But I gave 60 bucks for this thing, got it home, cleaned up the bed, and put a little bit of uh, paste wax on it, just a very thin coat so the wood would slip, slip easier. Haven't had any issues out of it. It's good. I'm starting to get enough stuff. I need to hook up some dust collection because I don't have any right now, so... If you see on the floor there, I've got piles of, you know, you can tell I ran walnut for a while. Um, table saw, you can't see it very well, but I got it. 30 bucks at the auction. Ran great. Runs great. It's got the good cast iron top. Uh, I do need to clean it off, though, because I've spilt some stuff on it. Uh, and, you know, and then these, all these drywall knives and everything. Um... Marshalltown, if I remember correctly, they are, uh, if 
I remember correctly, Marshalltown is, yeah, it even says right here, okay. Marshalltown used to be just Durasoft. And years ago when I did a lot of drywall on this, these were the ones you always wanted. They were the good ones. But I got this, this whole box and all of this right here at the auction for like 10 bucks. Um, got the box of electrical boxes, all kinds of them. Uh, I think I gave five or ten bucks for that. Uh, I got this set here. I didn't really get it for the pipe so much as I did the uh, trays. I think I give five bucks for that whole pile. Um, you know, those uh, boxes of screws up here, uh, not those, but these here, I gave, you know, they were like five bucks a bucket for those. And if you never need button caps, you can still, you can take all the button caps off and you've got a bunch of regular nails, you know. Tool belts, got them for little or nothing. I got a uh, lathe, here's the tube for the lathe. And then uh, the other parts are down there. And I need to get it all cleaned up and put back together because there's my little lathe. And I got that, all that lathe for 50 bucks. You know, but I do need to go through all of this and organize and everything. But I just wanted to let you know that there are some good things you can get at the auction. So you just got to watch what you're getting. But, and I'll try to have some updates of, you know, when I get the garage set up a little bit better. Oh, and these bowling pins. Um, that's about, I don't know, 30% of what it used to have. I've used a bunch of them, sold a bunch of them. Um, got them at, the, at a bowling alley going out of business. It's an auction house. Got them little or nothing. Uh, I take those and I make... Uh, move all stuff out of the way. Sorry about the camera being awesome like this. But I make these uh, woodworking mallets out of the bowling pins. Cause they're hard maple and I use, make them on the lathe and just stuff to, you know, if you got to work on wood and you don't want to mar it up. Those holes in them, it's kind of hard to use these for solid things other than something like this. Uh, cause they put them holes in them when they make them. See there's, you can see where I cut into a little bit there. Uh, now you can fill those in and still cut whatever you need with epoxy or whatever, but, uh, they do that for, make sure they're all the same weight. This one's got a little, my daughter just thought, hammer. So she was using it to try to do nails with, which that's okay. I didn't I didn't tell her not to. So. And then uh, got that little electric scooter. Uh, needed a battery. Uh, I think it was 10 or 15 bucks. And instead of buying a $100 battery and charger, I've got a little adapter that I run DeWalt batteries through it. And it works just fine on the wall batteries. Um, and then here, all of this uh, stain, which <laughs> you can tell it's been sitting out here and it's got some rust on the edge. Uh, they got wet once. Uh, and during the summer, I don't have AC in here. During the winter, it's I keep it heated, but that keeps the moisture down. But like, you know, all of this stain, multiple layers back there. Each row, multiple layers. These are all different gel stains. I got the varnishes and the polys and all that. All of that came from an auction. Uh, gave a hundred bucks for it, for the whole palette of all this stain. So there's just, you know, I got under counter lights up there, cheap. Uh, I gave like five bucks, I think, for all those furnace filters. And those actually fit my furnace that heats the garage. You know, um, these all these light bulbs up here, these candle burr bulbs, those are, uh, I gave a dollar a box for them. You know, uh, I make flags too, if, anybody, if anybody's interested. Uh, I make all kinds of signs and flags and stuff. That's the Air Force one. I made a Marine one for my son-in-law and different stuff. Uh, most of these pipe clamps I've gotten at auctions, real cheap. Um, this, well, this Hope chest, 
you know, it's just a plain old Hulk chest, but that's what my daughter wanted. So we're going to scuff it up and paint it. And, uh, I didn't, I don't know, I was 10, 15 bucks, I think I gave her that. You know, and this is part of why I keep scrap wood. Because, see, I had a bunch of scrap, I, and I still have a bunch of scrap, but I made a little thing for you those. And then if you come over here, there's a miter saw, or a radial arm saw that uh, I got for five bucks and works great it actually has a gearbox on it underneath there so you get a full you can get your full cut right here you don't have the motor in the way because the motor actually runs down through a gearbox eventually i want to put that and the miter saw in a table together so but i got old doors back there lockers all kinds of stuff i need to get some of these projects done but thank you for if you made it this far thank you for watching i do appreciate it uh i'll try to give some updates as i get the shop in shape and if you don't mind liking and subscribing i'd appreciate it uh, i would like to get you know i work full-time job i don't expect youtube to pay my bills but you know it'd be nice to get some sponsors or something you know but so Thank you, and I well, just appreciate you. Um, be blessed. Thank you. Bye.